Hello friends, Bishop Andy Siluda here, and I want to welcome you to my new series entitled This Week in Church History. I bring this to you in the capacity of my official uh, role as the historian of the Full Gospel Baptist Church Fellowship. And in this regard, I take moments each week to examine another episode in the 2000 year plus history of the church. This week, I want to look at the year 1760. It was this week in 1760 that the world saw the death of Count Nicholas von Zinzendorf. Now, the significance of von Zinzendorf is that he was the founder of the Moravian movement. Now, why would that be important to us? And why would we even have an interest in that? It was the Moravians, when we find John Wesley writing in his personal journal between uh, 1738 and 1735, uh, he notices while traveling to America, to the colony of Georgia, his ship is caught in a great storm. Everyone is fretful and frightened. However, there's a group of German Protestants known as the Moravians who have this quiet resolve and they seemingly are unmoved. John Wesley is so impressed by their resolve and their deep spirituality until that along with his own Aldersgate experience contributes to his teaching on holiness. And then of course, later on, the Pentecostal movement. And so those of us who are attached and identify with the holiness camp and the Pentecostal camp, we can trace our spiritual roots all the way back to this German Protestant group known as the Moravians. It was Nicholas von Zinzendorf that was the founder of that movement. And for that reason, we bow, acknowledge, and salute his life. Again, I am Andy C. Luter, and this is my This Week in Church History. I come to you every week with another short episode from the 2000 year plus history of the Lord's church. Until next time, you know, God loves you, we love you, and we look forward to seeing you real soon. God bless.